to uh, use a much overused quote during the course of the campaign. At the end of the day, things didn't turn out quite the way we hoped they would. After almost 15 months of campaigning, Charlie Baker took the stage shortly after 10 p.m. Tuesday to announce his concession to incumbent Deval Patrick in the race for Massachusetts governor. We and you, we fought the good fight, folks. Yes, we did. We have no cause to hang our heads. There will always be another fight, and we'll be stronger for having fought this one. Patrick led a Democratic sweep throughout the state, ensuring that Baker's final speech took place ironically in the House of Blues. But all of my opponents, the governor, the treasurer, Dr. Jill Stein, they made us all give our best every single day for the past 15 months. And they are probably the only ones who can truly appreciate how demanding this experience has been and what it takes to run a race like this one. And while we certainly had our disagreements over policy, and at times things certainly got a little tense, I never thought for a moment or doubted that any of them didn't have the best interests of the Commonwealth and its wonderful people at heart. Rumors spread through the crowd that Republican celebrities Mitt Romney and Scott Brown would join Baker on stage to celebrate his victory. But like the balloons on the ceiling and the party celebrities, victory stayed away. I just got off the phone with Governor Patrick and I congratulated him on his victory. Hey, hey, he won. Fair and square, okay? We fought the good fight, folks. In his speech, Baker thanked his supporters and his family and urged the crowd to get behind Patrick and help him overcome the economic hardship plaguing the state. But it's important that all of us get behind the governor and do all that we can to make sure that he succeeds in pulling our economy out of the doldrums and getting us back on the right track. Baker even encouraged Patrick to use his campaign ideas to battle the state's financial challenges. A lot of people over the course of this campaign, the governor included, told us they appreciated many of the proposals that we put on the table to get the Commonwealth's fiscal house in order. Let's hope they use them. Governor Patrick said a number of times that if he got reelected, he'd adopt some of those proposals as his own. We have no pride of authorship here. If the governor takes some of our ideas and gets them through, there won't be anyone happier about that than me. So I'm going to end this as I started it with a heartfelt thank you. Thank you to the thousands of volunteers who stood with us, to the tens of thousands of people who gave of their treasure to support our campaign. Thanks again to my staff, the best in the business, and thank you to my beloved family, the most important people in my world. This is still, this is still, and always has been, and always will be, a great state to grow up in, raise a family, and make a life in. For the Boston University News Service, I'm Jason Martyr.